Numbers versus words, round 11. 23 versus... Beck and Call. The Beck and Peck and Call. The Fro in To and Fro. The Riddance in Good Riddance. Mm -hmm. The Cob in Cobweb. The Baited in Baited Breath. Can you think what each of those has in common? Beck, Cob, Baited... Baited, I want to say fishing. <laughs> but yeah, I don't fair know where. enough. They are all linguistic fossils. So those words exist in one form only. So you never find riddance other than in good riddance. Yep. You don't find the beck other, than in, other in beck and cool. You don't find fro anywhere. I love the fact that they've been fossilised in English and um, they, they just about hang on. Uh, because they're, they're in this one form, but they can't really move anywhere else. So the beck in beck and call is beckon. Mm -hmm. The to and fro is to and from. Fro is simply an abbreviation of that. Uh, the cob in cobweb goes back to an old word for a spider, which was atacop, which meant poison head, because it was believed that all spiders were poisonous. And baited in baited breath, B-A-T-E-D, is short for abated breath, as in it shortened because you're quite frightened or excited or tense and I absolutely love them I collect them like linguistic artifacts but yeah they're all linguistic fossils 23 yeah is the minimum number of people you need in a room together mm -hmm. for it to be more likely than not two of them share a birthday oh I love this why 23 well you do the maths <laughs> right you, you you figure it out you set it up as a probability problem yeah so you say there are 365 days of the year mm. where a possible birthday could happen. They're all equally likely. Given one person is in the room and then a second person walks in, what's the probability the two of them have the same birthday? Look. Bring in a third person. <laughs> but now, what's the probability that of the three of them, you need just two of them to share it? So you've got potentially there three different birthdays that can kind of be shared between the three different people. Mm. So it's not as simple as just checking, you know, does this person have the same birthday as me? Mm. Because the other two, they could share a birthday well, and be different to yours. Yes, it's, so it's one of those... quite complicated. Yeah, so it, it, can get, it can get really complicated, but I really like the fact that the answer is so small. Yeah. Your intuition tells you, surely I'd need like 100 people in the room or even 180, maybe I'd need half of them for it to be greater than 50% that they share. That's what I was going to ask. So statistically, we're talking 51% versus 49, which yeah, is it's still just, quite... It's going, yeah. So it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. tipping so it over. Yeah, I love that. So, so is it going to be the Beck in Beck and Call or the number 23? You choose. 